Hello everyone. This presentation is on a project called Developing Sustainable Solutions for Natural Resource Governance in Sub-Saharan Africa, which is just starting now. My name is Mafani Sohara, a professor of natural resource governance at the Institute for Poverty, Land and Agrarian Studies, University of the Western Cape, South Africa. I am giving this presentation along with my co-principal investigator, Fiona Noonan, Professor of Environment and Development at the International Development De Department, University of Birmingham, United Kingdom. We will be explaining what this project is about, who is involved, and how we hope you could help us. So, what is the project about? The project is a networking grant, which means it has particular types of aims and limitations. It is funded by the UK government's research funding agency, the UK Research and Innovation, or in short, the UKIR, under the Global Challenges Research Fund. The networking grant program has three aims as follows. Firstly, to support the establishment of new interdisciplinary partnerships between research communities, policymakers and practitioners in low and middle income countries and the UK. Secondly, to establish sustainable partnerships between UK researchers and those in low and middle income countries to serve as a foundation for sharing knowledge and skills transfer to allow them to conduct excellent research with impact. And lastly, to strengthen research and training capacity and capability in low and middle income countries across a range of different disciplines. So what are the aims of the network and what do we aim to achieve using the grant? Networking grants under this type of funding are for one year only. Therefore, our aims reflect the relatively short duration of the project. The aims of the network are as follows. To form a multi-sectoral, multi-stakeholder, interdisciplinary and international network focused on developing sustainable resource governance solutions and to co-produce a research approach and agenda that responds to the need for more sustainable and effective natural resource governance. Thus, the network aims to facilitate learning and networking across natural resource sectors, since very often we find that professionals and researchers keep to their own sectoral focus. In this network, we are starting with three sectors, namely small-scale fisheries, forests, and wildlife management. Who is involved in the network at the moment? Apart from myself, from PLUS at the Investor of Western Cape in South Africa, we have the Nature Conservation Research Center, the CSIR Forest Research Institute, and an NGO called Hen Mpowano, or from Ghana. From East Africa, we have the Lake Victoria Fisheries Organization, Kenya Fisheries Marine and Fisheries Research Institute, Kenya Wildlife Conservancy Association, and the Kenyatta University. And from Malawi, we have the Government of Department of For Fisheries and Department of Forestry at the Lilongwe University of Agriculture and Natural Resources. In the UK, aside from Fiona Noonan, my co-principal investigator at Birmingham University. The network includes academics from University of Edinburgh Napier, University of Stirling, and University of Hull. What are some of the main problems with sustainable natural resource governance in sub-Saharan Africa? Well, 
Many challenges to successful natural resource governance have been identified and also many factors have been identified that are needed for success. A few that have been identified are as follows. The challenges concern stakeholder commitment to undertaking resolutions over time, shared understanding of the problems, resources, that is financial and technical, diverse objectives and interests among diverse stakeholders, scale of the problems and solutions, that is local, regional, national and international. Also, what matters to finding lasting solutions is the need for local ownership of projects and solutions, inclusivity of involvement, and locally relevant institutional arrangements. We know that there are many examples of natural resource governance that are not working as well as desired. For example, fisheries co-management on Lake Victoria and Lake Malombe in Malawi is widely seen as not delivering as hoped. There are still many illegal fishing and stocks are or have continued declining despite implementation of co-management arrangements. In the case of Namibia and other countries in sub-Saharan Africa, although community conservancies are widely and rightly recognized as being very successful, there are still challenges to successful governance with cases of elite capture and concern over financial viability commonly identified as key challenges. Given what we know about uh, the problems associated with natural resource governance, uh, we decided that we wanted to take an approach of developing action research. There's no one definition or approach to action research, but the components set out in this slide reflect the principles and practice. We've set it out in a cycle approach, but recognise that components or stages might take place simultaneously and that we'll need to revisit components. But this gives us all a, a, a cycle or portrayal to help us get started. And you can see from this diagram that the co-design and co-production of research working with multiple stakeholders is going to be essential, the critical part of um, action research. And it will involve generating a sort of shared understanding implementing trying out um, solutions, generating data on the process and reflecting on lessons and insights from intervention and that leading to new understanding, new interventions, etc. Um, the network will also involve uh, drafting working papers and that will help us um, to make sure that we're building on sort of cutting edge knowledge that we're um, developing appropriate approaches and have a shared understanding of what the issues are. And you can see um, what those working papers will be on, natural resource governance, action research, interdisciplinary research, and cross-sector issues, which we really think it's important. Um, as Maffa mentioned earlier, we were worth working in particular on fisheries, forestry and wildlife management to look at what the common issues across those um, natural resource sectors and then participatory resource other activities we've got planned are to reflect on those working papers through team webinars. Uh, we also want to identify additional people and organisations to include in the network, with, particularly with a focus on early career researchers. And then we want to identify actors, organisations, um, networks um, that we can work with, review um, sector policy and draft ideas. So can you help with this? Um, do you have any comments on our understanding of the issues facing governance of renewable natural resources? Do you have suggestions um, for researchers that we could connect to who could be involved in, in the network or potentially in future grant applications? Do you have any suggestions for the research approach envisaged and for the methodologies? And do you have suggestions for cases and for non-academic stakeholders to be involved? And so if you can help or you'd like would like to stay in touch here are our um, email addresses and you can uh, see more of us find out more of us on our academic profiles thank you very much <laughs>